I'm a mental health researcher and I focus on looking at the ways that we can use technology to improve mental health. I have two main focuses. The first is looking at the ways we can use technology to detect mental illness. And then the second part is using technology to deliver care. Brideo Day is emerging as one of our new uh, star researchers here at the Black Dog, working with a team of engineers and social media experts to create fantastic solutions for people who have mental health problems out there in the community. We've designed and conducted a number of really difficult studies which try to use your digital data in a way that has never been used before. One particular project that I have looks at social media and potentially what this can tell us about our mental health. That project's called the Ground Truth Project and it looks at linguistic markers and really that's your communication style. So the way you communicate in your blog, can we infer your mental health state from potentially the words you use or the topics you talk about? We really want to move into the development of mobile phone apps that are able to scrape your social media data, your GPS data, your phone call usage, so that it can build up a picture of how socially interactive you are, how physically active you are, so that we can then infer potentially how happy you're feeling, um, how worried you are, and build a profile of when you might be in need of mental health. And then eventually we will be able to use that information to intervene. We've always partnered with other groups, so things like CSIRO, a number of high schools and other social media companies, so that the research that we're doing is actually able to be used in the wider world and won't just stay here um, somewhere on a shelf. Last year I was invited by the New South Wales Health Minister to sit on a round table where they had key stakeholders um, and key ministers talking about what is the government going to do around social media and suicide prevention. That just shows how important it is, not only at a policy level, but how much it's affecting individuals. And what we're doing here is really tricky stuff. And you have a group of researchers who sit around the table and we really nut it out. And then six months later down the track, you've actually created an app and it's gone from this simple idea to something that you can actually see being translated more broadly. So that for me is the most rewarding part.